Good morning. Good morning. We're getting ready. Doing? I'm putting stuff on the table so Tucker can't jump up. Right? That's very important. It is important. Yes, it is. This is what we go through when we go out and we leave Tucker behind. If we don't block the dinette, he'll jump up. He'll jump up on the dinette. He's got his own area over there with blankets and stuff on it, but sometimes that's not good enough for him. Where are we going today? We're going to train ride. We're going to train we're going, we're, ride. We're going uh, from Durango to Silverton. Durango to Silverton and then back. And then it's a round trip. We're taking the round trip on the train. Yes. So Tucker's got a long day, so we have to. He's all by himself for the day. He'll be fine. You gonna be okay today? Yeah? You gonna be okay? You be a good boy today. All right. Don't do anything silly. No dog parties. All right. Taking Don't the invite the neighborhood Taking dogs the over for a party. Well, this is exciting. We've heard nothing but good things about the uh, the train ride. Right? Yes. <laughs> Did you bring food? I didn't bring any food. You didn't bring any food? Crackers, anything? You didn't bring anything? Wow. The way Lee was hanging in. <sighs> well, at least I have my coffee and a bottle of water. I guess I can, I can get by on that, I guess. Yeah, now that I don't drink coffee anymore. The, the train does stop, though, somewhere, doesn't it? It stops in and Silverton. It does, and there is a, uh, you know what I think? There's a food cart. There's a food cart. You know, you're gonna pay. Yeah. You're gonna pay for for that. Well, you're just. You're gonna wait. pay for not bringing. You'll wait till we get to Silverton. You're gonna pay for not bringing snacks. No, you don't need anything. Didn't you say you had a couple pounds you want to lose? What are you trying to say? Lose a couple pounds. <laughs> So the Durango train here is built in 1881. Naturally, that means it's with those clearances. That can include trees, rocks, anything like that. Just please be very careful as you're sticking out your head, taking pictures, and also please do not try to reach out and grab anything.
close that ride up. That's awesome. All right, that was what? I'd say about a three hour train ride up? About three feet out. Oh, barbecue. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's what you get. Yeah, I was I hungry. We shouldn't stop at the first one. Well, well, that was amazing. It was okay. It was well <laughs> worth it. The train ride to Durango to Silverton and back round trip. We chose to do the round trip. You don't have to. You can do one way from Durango to Silverton or Silverton to Durango and then take a bus back, which will speed up the process. Or take a bus there, right. Yeah. We chose to stay on the right hand side on the way up because it was a better view. And then on the way back, you have the same seat, so you're on the opposite side. Cool. But I wanted to say, there's a little bit of a condition with that. If you're going to take the bus back, you better make sure you're on the right side on the way up because it's yes. the better view. But if you're gonna take the bus up to Silverton and just and then ride the train back to Durango, make sure you're on the left side. So Does depending, that make sense? Yes, it makes perfect sense. Okay. If you're going round trip, can't don't do don't worry about it. You'll see both sides. You'll see both sides. Right. Uh, we chose to stay in the open air car, car which I think is the best way to go. So. Yeah, I think the open air, you get a better feel for everything. You're not sitting in a bench seat next to a window. The seats are facing out and you just get a better feel for the openness and the vastness well, of you... everything. Because you go past San Juan um, National Forest and you, you're going through the Rocky Mountains and you want to like take it all in and enjoy it and i think an open air car is the best way you to mean go. you mean you want to stick your head out 
Yes. Window, Chris. Yes. And if you like, and to you're take, not supposed to. That's not. If you're. That's um, what he said. Well, you're not supposed to lean out See? too far. Um, oh, now there's conditions. <laughs> but people lean out anyway. <sighs> and, and if you're into uh, taking film and uh, video, I think an open air is the best way to go. If you do the round trip and you get to Silverton, you have about two, two and a half hours. Yes. To so explore. Just enough time to eat and go window shopping, which we did, and I didn't find anything to buy. So. Well, Silverton is basically a tourist town now. Mm -hmm. It's still quaint and it's still mm -hmm. kind of got that mining town feel to it, but it's basically your run of the mill uh, tourist shops. There's a lot of places to eat and take uh, Chris's advice. Don't go to the first place you see when you get off the train. Wait till you get to the and end and there's a lot more places to eat, but yeah. that's okay. You don't have to listen to me. Yes. It was worth the price. Um, it was worth the full day. Mm -hmm. We got on board around 8.30 in the morning and we got off, what's it, around 6 o'clock right now? I think we got off at 5.45, so, so it's around 6, yeah. But this is a must-do for anyone. It was a fabulous trip, one of the best things I think we've ever done, especially best, since we've been on the road. Well, the best views that you have ever seen, at least we've ever seen, yeah. it was spectacular. If you've done it before, leave a comment down below. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you guys think. Uh, did you prefer the enclosed cabin or the uh, enclosed car? or the open car. Did you do the round trip? If this is something you want to do, leave a comment down below. Let us know what your thoughts were on the train ride. Yes. And Durango in general, we just, you know, Durango is an incredible town. You could spend quite a few days a just in town. In Durango, yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, let's go let's get go. Tucker. He's been locked up all day. And okay. I feel, the only thing missing out of this trip. What's that? I had no opportunity to get up in the locomotive and blow the, uh, steam, uh, the air horn. That would have made it perfect. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do that all my life. But and you did see Darth Vader. Well, okay. Yes. You won't get it. All right. It.